So you're probably wondering about measurements like volume, area and density. Where do they fit into the fundamental qualities? They are what we call derived quantities. This means that they are made out of other major quantities. There are a number of other derived quantities like area, volume, density, pressure, velocity, speed, weight, acceleration, force, energy and power. But in this lesson, we are going to focus on area, volume and density. Mass, length and time are what we call the basic physical qualities. And it's from these qualities that area, volume and density are derived. Let's look at area first. Area is the measurement of the size of a surface. You calculate it by multiplying the length by the width. It will be the length in metres multiplied by the width in metres. Metres are SI units, as you know, so the derived SI unit for area will be metres squared. The next derived SI unit we will look at is for volume. Volume is the measurement of how much space an object occupies. The volume of a regular cube can be calculated with the following formula. Length multiplied by width multiplied by height. The SI units are in metres, so the answer will be in cubic metres. Depending on the size of the object, you may use millimetres or centimetres. So these will be cubic millimetres or cubic centimetres. The next derived SI unit is density. Density can be defined as the mass per unit volume. Basically, it tells us how much kilograms are in every cubic metre of the object. We measure it by dividing the mass in kilograms by the volume in cubic metres. So the derived SI unit for density is kilograms per cubic metre. So why is this important to know? Knowing what quantities to use means that you will be working on the same level as everyone else. You can compare your answers because you are using the same formula. Now you know that derived quantities are quantities that are based on the seven fundamental quantities of the SI system. There are metres squared for area, cubic metres for volume and kilograms per cubic metre for density. It's always good to go over these quantities again and get used to using them. Why not try finding these quantities for an object you have at home? See what the area, volume and density is and convert it to SI units. Happy measuring!